As the rainy season sets in, the federal government has initiated a canalization project as part of the short-term solution to the perennial flooding in Makodi and other parts of Benue State. The state's Commissioner for Water Resources and Environment confirmed this to Channel's television at the flag off of the EDA River Basin Excavation Program following the 2017 floods which displaced over 240,000 people across the state, Vice President Yemi Shibajo had pledged the federal government's long and short-term flood mitigation programs. On August the 27th, 2017, residents of Idia village in Makudi, the Benue state capital, woke up to discover their homes and belongings submerged by a flood following an early morning downpour. The effects of the flood, which claimed three lives and displaced over 240,000 persons, attracted the attention of Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, who visited those IDP camps and the affected areas with this pledge. One of the things that the President wants us to do is to find a permanent solution to this perennial flooding in Benue State. And this is why we're engaging, well, this is why I've been having these meetings with uh, His Excellency, this meeting with His Excellency, the Governor. In keeping with that pledge, a delegation from the federal government is currently mapping out the phase two canalization project of the Idia Basin. As we are talking now, the federal government has sent a delegation to take a part and construct of the Idia Basin. Right now, they are doing the survey from the zone four to the Naka road of the basin. The state government has also flagged off a counterpart project, the Idia Phase 2 excavation program to effectively check flooding. Workers are seen digging up blood drainages and evacuating the dirt on the Ishaya Bakut Way. The major canal that conveys the water around Metropolis to the River Benue, it is what is called the Ize Basin. It expands from the river up to a place we call the Naka Road. It is very long. A particular phase of the basin was constructed in 2000, between 2003 and 2007, some years ago. But major chunk of the work is still pending. The rains have begun to come down in earnest, and with the bitter experience with flooding still very fresh in memory, nothing must be left to chance if a repeat of the previous calamity is to be avoided.